obviously a lot of people are going to be talking about MJF for a while. Is it a work? Is it a legit? Obviously because of this promo that he cut on AEW Dynamite. Well, it appears that AEW has actually, uh, coincidentally enough, they've they're they're not tweeting about it. They're not they're not promoting it. Um, in fact, if you actually go to shop AEW right here, you guys can actually see that uh, the website is not found. Uh, so you cannot find MJF merchandise on shop AEW, which is really interesting because again, AEW is not promoting it. They're not talking about it. They're not, there's no videos of the promo or anything like that. And obviously this has people wondering if it's, um, if it's legit, is it fake? What is happening? But they have removed MJF from the shop AEW website. And again, what was really cool about the promo is immediately after commentary, basically no sold it as if it didn't happen on the air which is very cool. But here's the thing that gets really interesting, and I really, really want to have this conversation with people here on YouTube. If you take a look at the AEW roster, Maxwell Jacob Freeman is still there. However, one thing I noticed, and it's not something I noticed before, but it appears that MJF is actually one in four uh, in 2022. Now, if you guys don't remember, after the promo, I know it wasn't necessarily shown on TV, but clips of this have been surfacing on social media. Uh, it appears in this situation that uh, MJF, when he cut his promo, CM Punk had walked down to the ring to try to console him or whatever it may be, but MJF had actually left uh, to, the, to the arena through the crowd. Now that brings me back to the website because MJF has a singles record of one and four. And according to AEW wins and losses matter. Now, look, there's nothing confirmed from AEW that MJF is going to compete for the world championship belt, but it almost seems like they have taken a little bit of momentum away from MJF, uh, in regards to the whole wins and losses right now, there's a lot of momentum on his side due to the fact that he's actually, you know, the most talked about thing in pro wrestling right now. But when it comes to the physical matter of wins and losses, he has no momentum whatsoever. In 2022, he is one and four. And a lot of people are speculating on social media that perhaps MJF will be competing against CM Punk for the world championship, which obviously makes sense. About a month or two ago, we speculated on that and fantasy booked an entire scenario for MJF to win the belt from CM Punk. Obviously, Punk versus MJF three is the ultimate way to put him over. But how does AEW do that when he's got a record of one and four? Uh, if he's being suspended or whatever it may be, it doesn't seem like that's a very likely scenario, at least anytime soon, which makes it very, very intriguing. But yes, as of right now, it appears that AEW has removed him from shop AEW. Is it a work? Is it legit? What What is happening here? Everybody wants to know. Guys, this is the fun story. It doesn't really matter if it's a shoot, if it's a work. I, I think parts of this is very real. And obviously, you know, they're both trying to pop a rating. Tony Khan and MJF, they want the ratings. They want people talking. And uh, when business calls for it, I think you do stuff like this. So um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens. And then, of course, what do the executives think? Are they in the know of what is happening? Obviously, if you're an executive for uh, TBS, you wouldn't want MJF dropping the F-bomb. But again, it, that's where, you know, the whole thing comes into play of, OK, if this is if this is legitimate, which it's possible, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens from there. But if it's not legitimate, if it's a work, which I think to the most part, I think we can all agree at this point, it's probably, most of it is probably a work. Uh, the, the executives probably know and, and they probably approved it or something. But it's going to be very interesting to just kind of see how that goes. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Scarlet Bordeaux is headed to MLW, which is actually really cool. Uh, obviously, we know Kill Killer Cross, Carrying Cross is going to be there. Uh, but Scarlet Bordeaux will actually compete as an in ring talent for MLW at Battle Riot. They made this announcement today, uh, June 23rd, uh, in NYC at the Melrose Ballroom. They are taping for Fusion. Uh, battle riot so that's gonna be really really cool scarlet bordeaux obviously we haven't seen her in a while uh when she was on the wwe when Car when carrion cross was on the main roster she wasn't on the main roster with him uh so a lot of people actually had some issue with that but the cool thing here is it appears that scarlet bordeaux at least uh will be doing some stuff outside of wwe now this brings me to my second thought why the hell hasn't tony khan signed killer cross and scarlet bordeaux um, is he waiting for ROH or whatnot? I don't know. I know we're kind of expecting some news in regards to like the, um, you know, the, the ROH pay-per-view could be announced soon. So that'll be, that'll be very interesting to see how that goes, but we have no confirmation on that just yet. Something I want to bring up obviously because of the fact that Scarlett Bordeaux, uh, she's not really known for her in-ring work, but 
uh, if ROH is going to have a women's division, you know, AEW signed AQA. They signed quite a few talent, and not all of them are on Dynamite. So what you can do is still sign some well-known names like Scarlett Bordeaux, have her wrestle in ROH. Obviously, it would make sense. Um, I kind of want to see what happens there. I don't know. But for right now, Scarlett Bordeaux is in MLW, and we'll kind of see what's next. All right, guys, some surprising news. I actually thought this was pretty cool. I don't know why a lot of people are up in arms about this. Uh, but late last night, there was some talks about Dolph Ziggler being backstage in AEW. Um, and for some reason, there's a mixed reaction about this on social media, which I find to be very interesting, considering that Dolph Ziggler is uh, brothers with Ryan Nemeth. But um, yeah, so here's the thing. His brother works in AEW. He's part of the wingman. And he was backstage. Um, this is not the first time that WWE superstars that are actively in WWE have been backstage at AEW. It probably won't be the last time. Also, AEW wrestlers uh, have been backstage at WWE. Uh, we talked about that for WrestleMania, Cody Rhodes, QT Marshall. Um, you know, that's the thing. Like with, with wrestling, you know, their friends, their brothers, their family, wives, sisters, cousins, like. I don't know why this is a big deal. I guess like I'm I'm just interested to hear what people have to say about it. Uh, from me and my perspective, the only negative thing I can see from a wrestler being backstage at one of these shows is maybe them kind of getting a sneak peek of what the backstage atmosphere is like, which would then maybe cause them to decide maybe when their contract expires, they, they should sign there. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know in, in that regard, but uh, I did find that to be, Kind of a funny story, you know, Dolph Ziggler backstage supporting his brother. I don't, I, I don't see how that's an issue, but, um, again, even my one little concern for it, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think, uh, it, now more than ever, if you're AEW or WWE, take care of your talent. If you're taking care of your talent, you ain't got to worry about people leaving your company. And Hey, sometimes people leaving your company is better, right? I think there's people like Cody Rhodes leaving AEW. AEW is still doing well without Cody, Cody going to WWE. He's, he's doing great in WWE. Uh, it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? I think people sometimes make things a big deal, but there's no big deal in this. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. I guess I'm just trying to understand a little bit more why people are upset about it. I'm not saying it's wrong to be upset about it, but uh, I guess I just don't understand it. So nonetheless, that's your boy. It's your boy, Ango. And uh, yeah, man, just thank you guys so much for stopping by watching this video. And uh, if you guys want more videos like this, more videos like this, just go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring that bell. Uh, MGF. Is it a legit work? What is it? What is it? Legit work, shoot, this, that, blah, 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 blah. It's so crazy with the whole MJF thing. I'm sure we're going to be talking about it more, so don't forget to subscribe for more details.